This is my STM32 project, Smart Pet Feeder. In this project, I use seven components. STM32 Nucleo, Distance Sensor, Weight Sensor, Real-Time Clock, Speaker, and Bluetooth Module. I use four different peripherals, GPIO, I2C, UART, Timer, and I also used external interrupt. While doing this project, I avoided using built-in libraries such as HAL, SPL, etc. I fully use register-level programming to understand these peripherals and how, and how to program them. Smart Pet Feeder enables the pet owners to feed their pets without their presence. It has two modes. First one is simple mode. Second one is time mode. I will give you a brief demonstration of both modes. Let's start with simple mode. But first we have to open our application. If your Bluetooth off, you have to turn it on, otherwise it will not connect to feeder. Okay, let's now let's try to connect to feeder. As you see, icon on the button change, that means it connected to feeder successfully. In this mode, whenever our pet goes to feeder, if it waits in front of feeder for 7 seconds and meanwhile if it is food container is empty feeder automatically gives food this is our distance sensor this is our weight sensor it checks whether it reaches the amount of previously determined if so it stops pouring Let's imagine this box as our pet. Let's put it here. Let's see what will happen. Nothing happens because distance between pet and sensor is bigger than 10 cm. Let's make it closer. Okay. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. You have to follow initial steps as we did in previous video. You have to turn on Bluetooth firstly. Now let's try to connect to feeder. Okay, it is connected to feeder. First page of application is for first mode called simple mode, but second page is for timed mode. Before sending alarm, you have to send current date and time information because device cannot predict time and date. Okay. Time is 22.17 I will send I will set an alarm for twenty two twenty. Okay, see you two minutes later. Alarm time is about to come. Five, four, 
three, two, one, go.